I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting application question where we are going to use compound angle formula. The question here is find the maximum value of square root 2 cos of 2 theta minus sin 2 theta and the smallest possible positive value of theta where it occurs. Now to find maximum value of this first step should be that we should be in a position to write this as one trigonometric function and that is what we will learn in this video. So we have square root of 2 cos of 2 theta minus sine 2 theta. We could write this as r times cos of 2 theta minus alpha. We'll, we'll write it in one trigonometric ratio cos and then we'll find the maximum. So this is a very good technique and let us see how to apply this technique. Now, let us begin with r of cos 2 theta minus alpha. Using compound angle, we can expand this. So, we get r times cos 2 theta cos alpha plus sine 2 theta sine alpha. So, when we expand it, we get r cos 2 theta cos alpha plus r sine 2 theta sine alpha. Now if you compare this equation with what we have here, you will find that cos 2 theta cos 2 theta is there. So what we can write from these two comparisons. So now let us compare these two parts. I mean square root 2 cos 2 theta with r cos 2 theta cos alpha. In that case, we can write r cos alpha as equals to square root of 2 and r sin alpha, this is alpha, sin alpha as equals to 1. 1 is the coefficient there. Do you get the idea? So if you compare, we can write r sin alpha as 1 and r cos alpha is square root 2. We already have cos 2 theta and sine 2 theta. So when we compare left side and right side, we could write our equation like this. Now let us square both of them. If we square, we get r square cos square alpha equals to 2 and r square sine square alpha equals to 1. And if I add them up, if I add them up, then what happens? We get r square cos square alpha plus r square sine square alpha equals to 2 plus 1, right, 2 plus 1. Taking r square common, we can write this as cos square alpha plus sine square alpha equals to 3, right. So, or r, now cos square alpha plus sine square alpha is 1, so therefore r square is equals to 3, and that gives us r as equals to square root of 3. Now, whenever we write this equation, we take r as positive number. So that is how we get the value of r, right? So let me write down clearly what is r for us in this equation. So we found r as equals to square root of 3. Now to find alpha, what we can do is we can divide one equation by the other. So to find alpha, what we are doing here now is we are taking help of these two equations and we will divide r sin alpha by r cos alpha. So r sin alpha is equal to 1 divided by square root 2. So we get tan alpha as equals to 1 over square root 2 and the acute angle for alpha which will give us 1 over square root 2 is let's use the calculator right so what we have is tan inverse of 1 over 1 divided by square root 2 bracket closed equals to so we get 0 0.6154 so we get this as equals to 
4, right? So that is the value of alpha for us. And therefore, we can write now the expression which was square root of 2 cos 2 theta minus sine 2 theta as equals to r is square root 3, square root of 3 cos of 2 theta minus 0 0.6154, right? So that becomes our expression in single trigonometric ratio. Now, we need to find the smallest possible positive value. We need to find the maximum value of this function. Now, the maximum value can occur, which, I mean, cosine function can have maximum of 1 only, right? So, so we know from here that the maximum is square root of 3, right? And that will have occur when 2 theta minus 0 0.6154 is equal to 0, right? Only then the maximum is going to occur, right? So from here we can find the value of theta. So we get 2 theta equals to 0 0.6154 or theta equals to 0 0.6154 divided by 2. So let's divide this by 2. So we get theta as equals to 0 0.3077, right? So that is the value of theta for which this particular function will have the maximum value, right? So, so that is our answer, right? So that is how we can actually solve such questions. I hope that helps. So the strategy here is to write down these functions as a single cosine function and then find the maximum. And key which we find here is that we could write all these functions as r cosine theta or 2 theta whatever this argument is minus alpha where r is equals to these coefficients, right, a square, let's say the coefficients are a and b, r is equals to a square plus b square square root, and the ang angle alpha is tan inverse of minus b by a. So that is, in short, the final result, because always you'll come up with the same situation, okay? So it is minus b by a, b is minus 1, a is square root 2, right? And r value is square root 2 square, which is 2, 2 plus 1 square root, so we got 3. Do you see that? So that is how such questions should be solved. I hope that helps. Thank you.